I have been searching for clues as to where the pirates who crashed this ship went since it landed here on the server, and I think I finally found them. Look at this. This little hidden section of the island. We've got a couple pirates digging away. That guy there must be the captain. He's got a peg leg and he's inspecting the gems. Meanwhile, this guy's doing all the work, it looks like. Wonder what they got in there. I have to say, these are two of the worst pirates I have ever seen. Okay, I just finished up in the graveyard. I was patching up some things, fixing some things, and uh, I kind of wanted to do some building. So I've laid out a little template, and we're gonna make our way over there. But before we do, I wanted to show you guys a little something that I've worked on in the meantime. It's an underwater project, so it wasn't the best to film. I did try filming some of it, and none of it just came out right, and didn't look like it was gonna look good on film at all. So I decided not to roll with that footage, and I'll just show you guys the area and then we'll do a little bit of building after that and get started on our next project so here we are over at turtle cove just for some reference and we've got this little rise here right behind the pirate ship and there you see one of my templates i uh, needed to get the shape right so i tried a bunch of different things and reworked a bunch of different things and it's going to be a wharf we're putting in there it's kind of an awkward shaped cove so i went for a slightly staggered diagonal design on it here we are high atop the mob zoo looking down upon the new terrain that we're starting to work into. There's the tropical cove right there and here is the wharf. You can get a bit better idea of the size, shape, and position of it. There, as you can see, it's a slight diagonal. It's raised a little over five blocks off the water. I've got a couple basic ideas for what I want to do here. And really, it's just going to be filling it in and trying to be as creative as possible while doing it. So we'll see what comes of that. I'd say I've probably talked enough. Let's get into building and see what becomes of this new wharf. See you. 
Ah, uh, yes, just another day here at our main base area of the farm, checking out the maps. We gotta do another map soon. We're a little behind on that. But look at this, time has cleared us out. While it was great living on this side of the island, it doesn't make much sense to be here anymore because we are on the other side of the island as far as most of our work. And that's where that fancy item sorter that time made way back near the beginning of the series is located. It was time to finally move out and in over there, and so we have. I'm going to do something that I've been putting off for quite a while. You see, I've recorded many tours on the island, but all these episodes keep ending up so long i got to cut stuff out, and the tour keeps having to go. But it's finally time, I have a chance to put it in, and there's a lot of progress that's been made. So I'm going to show you some of the little things I've done around the place, and give you guys a little different view of the island that you haven't seen just yet. So I thought we'd start off over here. This is the wharf that we're putting in. And uh, yeah, hasn't gotten much decoration yet, but I have been working on the posts and I got in its basic supports. Goes all the way down to the ocean floor. You guys saw the start of this earlier and you may notice that it looks a lot different than it did. This sand here is actually a lot higher than it was. It used to be down at water level down there. But as I was working on it, Tom logged in and luckily he saves me. He saw that it was going to look terrible like that and decided we should build up a seawall. So here it is. Built up this nice little seawall. Still needs decoration. Not done by any means, but you can see it's coming together. I think the seawall was definitely a great idea. So clearly the wharf has a ways to go before it's done, but you know what's closer to being finished? This section. Oh yeah, great segue, huh? <laughs> this is the coral reef area for the tropical fish and also other fish. I've got a section for cod and I got one for salmon and then that's the one for the real tropical fish. Let's take a look down here in our tropical area. Now this is like a real coral reef as compared to the, the Turtle Cove over there. Turtle Cove just had some bits of coral throughout, but this one you can see looks more like a Minecraft coral reef. You may notice that different types of coral are in different shapes. And that's just something I was going for. You can find this over on the Turtle Cove side too, but blue coral like this is always in a spiral, as you can see, spiraling up. This pink coral is always in kind of like veins laying across the ground. And then we have this red coral. As you can see, it spreads out kind of like a tree. And hey, it's almost like the corals, the leaves. Yellow coral is always like a flat plate layering across the ground in big sections. You can see another one over here. And finally, purple coral. It's more of a rounded off structure with lots of area in between. Here's another bit of purple coral. You can see a little better how the shape is formed. And up here, there's a bit of dead coral coming out the top because this thing grew too tall. Also put some dripstone in in some areas just for a little variation. Put some soul sand in so we can have some jumping fish because everything's better when it's jumping out of the water, right? And you may notice this is raw copper ore along the bottom. I thought it looked really good down here. So there you go. There are a lot of tropical fish in here. I've caught so many and yet I'm not even close to having all of them. You may not know, but there's a lot of tropical fish in the game. Just how many? Well, let's find out by looking inside this handy little info station. Here you can see there are 2,700 naturally occurring variants. And then it appears you can use commands to get up to 3,500 visually distinct variants. 2,700 naturally occurring variants? That's pretty crazy. So there's about 40 different variants I'd say in here, and I think that's good enough. I'm not gonna go hunt all 2,700 naturally occurring types down and put them in here. I think that would cause the island to lag out. I really like how this area is coming across. The seawall really adds a nice extra feel to the area. Way better than when it was all flat before. So let's go ahead and take a little walk over onto this side of the island. This little platform up here is probably going to house a lighthouse, but who knows? It's not there yet. As we come over here, you can see the pirate ship has changed some. In the time lapse where I was adding the sails, you may have noticed that they were just three colors. There was white, gray, and light gray wool. Well, I didn't like the look too much, so I came back and I kind of textured it a little better. I got rid of the dark gray wool because that was a little off-putting and I made some improvements to the sails overall. So since we're here by the ship, we might as well take a look inside of it where I have done quite a bit. 
This would be the captain's quarters where you see the captain's desk, some of his things needed for proper conquest and buried treasure finding in here. This is just some storage. Captain's got a little puppy. And then over here, this must be some of the valuable loot that the captain's found on, on journeys across the ocean. We step out onto the deck. You can see the little storage area. I love that. Keeps the barrels from flying all over the deck when waters get rough. And if we come up here, you can see that the helm has changed. It's not just a cartography bench with a compass on it anymore. It looks a little more like a helm. I could have gone crazy and made like a perfect helm with armor stands, but I didn't want to lag out the area with all the armor stands. I've already got a lot here as it is. So I just went with this, thought, yeah, that kind of works. And there we have the compass. So when you're sailing the ship, we can see which way we're going. It's one of the cannons. Love these cannons. I think they turned out so great. You can see we got a little hole in the floor. Some of the wood has fallen because this ship's fallen in disrepair. As you can tell by the rigging, the rigging has ropes hanging down. It's missing pieces all over. And that's also why the sails are so tattered. This thing's been here for a while and it's clearly seen better days. Here you can see there's a variation in color. I was kind of thinking of like the stained area of the ship. Maybe it's a little more waterlogged to the wood there. And so it's changed colors. I've already also got a little bit over there. Not really sure if this comes across as what I'd want. I'd like to have more detail in it, but I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. If anyone has any comments on this, I would love to hear them. But for now, why don't we go below deck? You can see it's becoming a little more worn down here. There's another cannon that's being stored down here. And up here's some of the planks that have fallen from above. Here's the little treasure storage area. They've actually managed to keep this thing fairly intact despite it falling into disrepair. Up there, you can go through those trap doors to get out to the bow of the ship. Over here, we have the original busted hole that takes us out to this side of Turtle Cove. And then over here, you can see this side has been completely blown out. We've got some debris laying down in Turtle Cove now from it. And it's a nice access for swimming around throughout the cove if we want to have some fun with the turtles. And yep, this ship will not be sailing again anytime soon unless they repair all of that. Over here, you can see the brig. Nothing too fancy, but hey, it's a brig. I did use an armor stand here though, and I think it looks good as a little lock, you know, so you can imagine the doors shutting and that locking them up tight. And then in here, we have a little bit of the crew quarters. Time and myself tried for quite a while to make a good looking hammock in the game and it didn't really work until I threw in the armor stand sticks. I think that looks great. Now they actually look like hanging hammocks. Over here we got a little bit of a kitchen area. Pirates on board of this ship would have needed to eat and looks like this is where they did it. This is just a little hallway but back here you can see a little extra storage area. And we got some of the TNT. No better place to store TNT on a ship than in the bottom back of it, right? Totally safe there. Now above that area right here, we can go on up and you can see there's a bit of a storage area for cargo. This is what the ship was transporting before it wrecked here. So it looks like we got eggs here. We got some apples. We got a big old amethyst crystal. Someone probably paid a lot of money for that. Bunch of cartography benches, stuff, more stuff, even more stuff, a boat in a boat and so there we have the pirate ship finally nearing completion here's the little turtle info section and then over here this is kind of a tiki inspired shopping stall all i knew is that it had to be tiki themed and when i started working on it i realized i don't know how to make a tiki theme and so i just kind of dabbled around and came up with this so while it's not too tiki i was at least thinking tiki when i made it so i guess that kind of counts right major portions of the island have been getting completed and this is going to be one of our next main areas to populate. Time laid out a torch trail for the paths and I went and kind of tried to match his style and this is what we have so you can kind of see the layout. And finally here we are at the Halloween exhibit. There's some little bits of armor stand detail here that I never got to show so I thought I would throw them in as well. Look here, you got a zombie coming up out of the ground. Apparently his grave was never marked. And as we come down over towards this crypt, here's another one of the zombies crawling out here. Another unmarked grave. 
So I had I in here a while back because of a faulty Viz potion. I thought I must have been wearing too much armor, but it turns out Halloween mobs apparently can see through in Viz. There you can see I've got no armor on, nothing, and they still hit me. And as you can see there, there's a couple more of the zombie armor stands coming up out of the ground. There's another one there, crawling out the front of his grave. Any brave patrons that come to this section of the zoo, I want to see one of the secrets. That grave right there with the wither skeleton hanging out has a secret inside of it. I think there might be a reason why he's in that grave, but that's up for you to discover. Well, that's about it for me in this episode, so I'm going to wrap things up. But before we go, I want to tell you guys about something very exciting coming. With the release of the 118 Minecraft update, myself and about 20 other Minecrafters will be starting a new server. This is going to be the Zetacraft server. I'm sure you're going to see a lot of familiar faces there, and we guarantee we will have a great time, whether you think we're having a great time or not. <laughs> This server is gonna be a Hermitcraft style server, so you can expect to see probably a shopping district, maybe other districts, plenty of collabs, proximity chat once it's updated and all of that stuff. So when 118 hits, keep a lookout for Zetacraft videos to start popping up from your favorite YouTube creators and be sure to tell everyone because it's gonna be amazing. But for now, from Mob Zoo, I would like to say goodbye everybody and I'll see you next episode. You ain't feeling if you're trying and Ooh, gotta believe the future's brighter You owe it to yourself to do it only brings you joy So shut up all that noise, yep, shut up all that noise Hey, just chill, I got all the time to kill Yeah, I got good vibes, good vibes